Anyways, we're back and we gotta stay consistent. We're gonna make a lot of videos for you guys. Um, I'll be doing a lot with the group, so it's gonna be fun recording everything. Anyways, today we're gonna be talking about five things I like about my specific M4. It's gonna have a little bit of talk about the M4 F82 in general, but five things I like about my specific BMW 2018 M4 F82. Uh, right now we're on the way to Pagoda PA, me and Mo, AKA Alpha M2C, and we have Rollers Media, Denny. He's getting some content of us on the road and uh, he's gonna be the one behind all the cinematic shots and behind the scenes kind of uh, videos that you guys are gonna be seeing in the future content. First thing I like about the BMW M4 F82, how aggressive it looks. Like, come on guys, this car looks so aggressive. Probably the most aggressive BMW ever made, uh, at least in my opinion. This car got the looks, like like the headlights from the, the, the side profile, the rear end, how wide the hips of the, of the car is, the front and the back. Uh, it sits super low especially when you pair it with the right suspension. Um, in my case, I have the KWB3 suspension, coilovers. It's, um, it's amazing, like once you find the adjustability and you find the right um, level between bounce, like the bounce and the, how tight and like soft it is, you, once you get it right, like it's the best suspension for this car. I've been through all three suspensions and this is by, by far my favorite. Uh, is it the most comfortable? Not really, but still, like, you can get the sweet spot and you're gonna have the most comfortable ride of your life, probably. Uh, but yeah, like, the car looks super aggressive, so that's really something that I always wanted in a car that I own, is to have a super aggressive looking car. At the same time, I wanted to have it looking nice, so. The way this car flows from front to the back, it's just perfect and I don't think you can um, find a better looking car BMW wise in the looks. Uh, a lot of people might disagree with me, but in my opinion, this is what I think. Uh, much better looking than the G chassis, the E chassis, all those. Second thing I like about this car, how aggressive it is. I'm not talking about looks wise, I'm talking about driving wise. Like this car just wants to drive fast all the time. You can drive it slow if you want to. It's, more, it's so versatile. And I, th I think this is what the second thing is, that it's so versatile that you can drive it fast, you can drive it regularly like a, like a daily car. It's, it's just the perfect all around. It got the looks, it got the, it got the power. You can build this car, like come on, I've seen people build this car to a thousand horsepower like crazy. Like it, it's just a really good car. Uh, the engine might not be the most reliable is the S55 with the crank hub issue But I haven't done my crank hub yet, and I'm perfectly fine I'm on stage 2 custom map and I shoot flames and I do all that stuff and the car is just perfect like no problems whatsoever I think this is by, by far the most reliable car I've ever had um, I have the C7 Corvette that engine is insane the LT4, but I feel like no matter what car you're in, no matter what engine is, it is, if you take care of it and maintain it right, and you know your limits to how far you can push it, you should be fine. But yeah, this is the second thing, that how versatile the car is and how aggressive the drive is. I took this car on a track and it was, it was, I did not know my car was capable of that crazy stuff. Um, me and Mo went with the group, our group Embassy um, we guys are gonna meet probably some of them in the future. Um, it was just, it was just amazing, guys. Like, like the car just 
is a monster. It's a monster on the track. The third thing that I like about this car, how comfortable it is. Uh, I took this car twice to Florida so far, and the car is comfortable. It's a really comfortable car, so when I'm driving it, it's, it's, I can sit back and relax. I can drive crazy, or I can drive slow, whatever I feel like. Uh, I've driven like other cars, the G80s and stuff like that. The, the, the car itself is super tight from the inside. Um, which is something I don't really like. Uh, I want to. I want to have comfort as as much as I want to have a fast car or a good-looking car, you know. And this car just does it all. It's so so versatile that it can do anything and it can feel really w good at the same time, you know. So the fourth thing I like about this car is the carbon fiber parts that I have on it. These parts, I, I feel like I made a good selection with the parts that I have. And shout out to M2M Carbon and 1NE Performance for hooking me up with the carbon aero um, stuff that I have on the car. These small changes to the car add so much. Going from the various hood to the big wing, everything on the car just flows perfectly. Um, and that's a thing that's a big thing as well like if the car does not if you have really high quality parts but the car still doesn't flow the right way it, it, I, don't, I don't think it's gonna look good um yeah the the the, the carbon parts are really really a big part of ha having a car like this um, it changes the whole look of the car so the fifth and last thing is the vinyl wrap. I have a one, like a really limited edition nose attack, Narwhal Blue, which was uh, created, like it was a collab for uh, Alex Choi and nose attack. They collabed on it and they made that color and they put it on his Lamborghini. And when I saw it for the first time, um, it caught my attention and I was like, I really need to get that color. And I was able to get it. Shout out to Joe from Lux Auto Detailing. That, that's about it guys. Um, these are my top five favorite things about my car and uh, what I think is makes the car what it is. And yeah, I hope you guys like this video. Stay tuned for the next. Uh, stay, I hope you guys like this video. Stay tuned for the next upcoming videos. I'm going to be making more uh, POVs and um, just me chatting with you guys and telling you what I like about the car and what I don't like about the car. Um, yeah, we're going to make more of these. If you like this video, please like and subscribe. It helps a lot. And share if you can. And just let me know down in the comment section below what, what videos you guys are, you guys want me to do. And we're going to make it happen. Uh, I'm back. I'll try to stay consistent as much as I can. And we'll take it from here and update, update you guys on everything I have going on um, in a new video. I hope you guys have a great day. Stay, stay safe.